Gallup, the polling organization, tweeted out something that I thought was uh, pretty funny. I want to show you this. This is from a poll from 1938. They asked uh, Amer the American people their views on free speech. Look at this. It says, uh, believe in freedom of speech. 96% yes, I do. Almost everybody, yes, freedom of speech. Then the very next question. Believe in allowing radicals to hold meetings and express their views. Uh, only 40% said yes. <laughs> oh, it's <that's> adorable. <laughs> Look at that juxtaposition. Do you believe in freedom of speech? Yes. Uh, should radicals be allowed to hold meetings and discuss their views? No. Only 40% said yes. 56%, a majority, clear majority, said no. Radicals shouldn't be able to speak their mind. But I believe in freedom of speech, but don't let people with radical views speak. <laughs> uh, and then the next question is also ridiculous. Uh, believe in allowing communists to hold meetings and express their views. Only 36%, so it drops even more. Only 36% say yes, allow communists to freely discuss what they believe. 57% said no. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, wanna br I wanted to bring this up, number one, because it's funny. But, yeah, okay, granted, this is old, so people might say, whatever, it's old, it's... I guess people didn't care about contradictions, but it, it is a funny juxtaposition there. But the real reason why I wanted to bring this up is, that's actually not too dissimilar from, you know, what we see today. Which is... So you ask people, hey, do you believe in freedom of speech? Almost everybody's like, of course I believe in freedom of speech. What are you talking about? How dare you? And then, uh, turns out, 40% of college students want to ban speech that's offensive to minorities. Okay, no. <laughs> Just because you say something that the, um, a minority might find offensive doesn't mean that you're, you shouldn't be allowed to say it or that you're even wrong necessarily. So what the fuck does... Like, what? Uh, also, most Trump voters, a majority, uh, want to ban flag burning. So again, you ask, hey, do you believe in free speech and free expression and free protest? People, of course, freedom is freedom. Yes, yes. Uh, should we ban flag burning? Yes. Ban that. You're free to do what I want you to do and how I want you to express yourself. You can't do it any other way. Because that hurts my feelings. Yeah, I'm, I don't care. That's the, the, my whole purpose in doing this segment is to say, I don't care. I don't care. If you're offended, okay. You don't have a right to not be offended. You could be offended by what people are saying, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't have be allowed to say it. Now, to be clear, that also doesn't mean you can't call them, you can't say they're wrong, because free speech cuts both ways. Somebody says something stupid, you can say, hey, you're an idiot and you're wrong. And they, how dare you infringe on my freedom of speech? I'm not infringing on your freedom of speech. You said something stupid. I'm calling it stupid. The only problem becomes when you try to ban it. That's the problem. Um, and also, we just covered this the other day. 51% of Republicans don't believe in a free press. <laughs> like, that's incredible. Because the press is feuding with Trump now. And they love Trump. So they go, you know, they, they're asked, hey, do you believe in a free press? And they actually say no to that. 51% <laughs> say, no, I don't even believe in a free press. <laughs> That's so preposterous, but they say it. So, you know, you ask people, hey, do you believe in freedom? Yes, but I don't believe in all the things that actually means you shouldn't be able to smoke or what you want to smoke or do whatever drug you want to do. No, no, I believe in freedom, but I don't believe in it. So I'm going to say I believe in the concept while not actually agreeing on the policies that would mean freedom. I, I despise that, man. It, I, I find it utterly ridiculous that so many people voted for Trump who think... Well, Trump, I mean, the whole point of voting for Trump is free speech. I mean, he's really showing these fucking social justice warriors on college campuses what the deal is. And, you know, there's a backlash against these totalitarian, authoritarian leftists who want to control everybody's speech. That's why we vote for Trump. But Donald Trump sued Bill Maher over a joke. That would be a right-wing social justice warrior. Donald Trump threatened to sue The Onion over a satire article. Who sues the motherfucking Onion? <laughs> it's The Onion! The whole point is satire. He's like, I'm offended by this satire. Uh, I'm a, I'm a special little snowflake that has been triggered by your microaggression and now I need a safe space. Believe me, let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. <laughs> so, 
he is a right-wing social justice warrior. He said we should open up the libel laws so that we could sue the media when they say things we don't like. He wants U.S. free speech laws to be more like the U.K.'s free speech laws, and in the U.K., they're much more restrictive with speech. So you don't get to say, you know, I believe in, in freedom of speech, which is why I voted for Trump, who is the most openly hostile candidate to freedom of speech in modern history. <laughs> Again, the guy fucking sued over m jokes multiple times. You don't get to say you're an anti-social justice warrior as you embrace a right-wing social justice warrior. So, anyway, bottom line is, I want everybody who says they uh, believe in freedom of speech, 96% in, in 1938, 96% said, yes, I believe in freedom of speech. I want you to actually be consistent about what that means on the left and the right. And you don't see that almost at all nowadays. So, we need to get back to that and embrace that because it's a really important thing, man, and I don't want to see it slip away, and unfortunately, in many circles, it does slip away, while at the same time, those same people claim they believe in it, they act in the exact opposite way.